today we're going to start by doing some contour line drawings. A contour line drawing is concerned only with the lines of an object. It's not concerned with the texture, with the value, with the color, just the lines. So what you're going to do in this first box right here, we're going to label this contour line drawing. So what we're going to draw today is your shoe. So after the video, you are going to get your shoe and set it on the table, or if your neighbors complain, then just prop your foot up on the table without taking it off your foot. Um, and you are going to do a contour line drawing of your shoe. A good contour line drawing should spend about 50% of the time looking at the paper and about 50% of the time looking at your object. If you just look at the paper, you are going to make assumptions about what the object looks like and it's not going to be completely accurate. So actually spend time looking at your object. Think of a contour line drawing as creating a coloring book for yourself. You are just outlining the things that you see. Any line that is on your object becomes a line on your drawing. If you need to, you can go back and make some adjustments. And there is my contour line drawing. Now for this next box, you are going to label this one continuous contour. As the name suggests, with a continuous contour, you are going to do a contour line drawing, but you are going to make it one continuous line, meaning that you cannot pick your pencil up from the paper. This is going to be a lot trickier, um, and it's not going to look as good. The intention of a contour line drawing is not necessarily to look good. Um, we'll get to that here in just a few minutes, but for this one, you're going to do a continuous contour drawing of your shoe. So there's my continuous line contour drawing. You see that it is not as detailed as this one. Um, and 
all of these little things that are kind of unconnected, especially these dotted lines here, can't really be on here because you can't pick up your pencil and move it to somewhere else. You kind of just have to go with where you are. The last kind of contour line drawing we're gonna do is a blind contour line drawing. A lot of people assume that this means that you can't look at your object and that is actually the complete opposite from the truth. What it is is that you cannot look at your paper. You can only look at your object. I told you with a regular contour line drawing, you should be spending about 50% of your time looking at your objects and about 50% of your time looking at your paper. With a blind contour, you are going to spend 100% of the time looking at your object. It is not going to look good. That's okay. The intention of a contour line drawing is not to look good. So you're just gonna pick a spot, decide where you're gonna start, and then go. For this one, you can pick up your pencil. However, you will find that the more often you pick up your pencil, the more often you get lost. Okay, so there is my blind contour drawing. You will see that I do have some of the elements in here, but they are kind of scattered all over the page, and that's okay. So now that we have practiced all three kinds of contour line drawings, I want you to choose an object to draw in this box. Um, just something that you have on, me, on you. It could be your hand. It could be something in your pencil pouch. It needs to be more than just a pencil. A pencil is just like, a couple of lines. It needs to be something a little bit more complicated, um, but it doesn't have to be super, super complicated. Something like a key would work really well, a bottle of hand sanitizer, whatever you happen to have on you. And I want you to do a regular contour line drawing of that object. If you need to turn your paper like this so it fills the space better, that's fine. But I want you to do a regular contour line drawing, focusing on the details, getting as many details in as you can. But again, you should not be worried about texture. You should not be worried about color or value. You should just be worried about the lines of the object that you can see. Like I said earlier, it's like making a coloring book for yourself. You are just doing the outlines. And remember, you should be spending 50% of your time looking at the object and 50% of the time looking at your paper. Like I said earlier, the point of a contour line drawing is not to make something that is good and beautiful and artistic and colorful and fun and amazing. When you're working with contour line drawings, what you're concerned about is the connection between what your eyes see and how they relate that to what your hand is doing. Whenever you are doing a contour line drawing, your eye is translating information from your eye into a movement with your hand. So whenever you are doing a blind contour line drawing, you are focused only on what your eyes see, and then turning that into a movement from your hand. So as your eye moves up the side of your shoe, your hand moves up the paper. With a regular contour line drawing, you are focused on accuracy. So what your eye sees should turn into a drawing that is incredibly accurate. If your shoe drawing looked like a cartoon shoe, then you probably spent most of your time looking at your paper and very little of your time looking at your shoe. Don't go by what your brain thinks something looks like. In order for this to work, you have to really focus on what the object itself looks like. So choose an object and do a regular contour line drawing in this box.